uh, today on the International Children's Day. Uh, thank you so much for coming today. And uh, first of all, I would like to mention that last night in Ukraine was fatal for several Ukrainians, including kids. Unfortunately, May in general was terrible for Ukrainians because we had almost every day we had bombardments and airstrikes. So much pain, so much tears, and so much unrealized child's dream. I would like to say that since the beginning of Russia's full-scale military invasion of our country on the 21st of February 2022, according to the official figures, we lost, Ukraine lost, around 500 children. Their lives were destroyed. Their right to a brighter future was brutally taken away by Russians. Millions of other Ukrainian children have been deprived of their homes, families, and even their native country by the Russian world. Thousands have been illegally deported to the territory of the Russian Federation and denied the right to return home. Denis Vorobyov's documentary, Forced by Fear, War Through the Eyes of Ukrainian Children, is great proof of the war crimes committed by the Russian Federation. Today is the 1st of June. Uh, this is the International Children's Day. Today we have one more dead children. This is young girl, 11 years old. This is the fact of war crimes that happened in Ukraine day by day, night by night. And this is terrible events because the Russian Federation continue to make some uh, rocket strikes to our uh, peaceful cities. And uh, that film based on the emotion of the people that uh, happened on the shelling on the under the under shelling under the rocket strike in their cities the russian federation comes to our homeland and start kill us to kill our children to kill our people Yeah. Mm -hmm. 